How do you zoom this thing out? Is it locked or something? What's going on guys, Sean Gatter back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be walking you guys through my entire camera setup. I get asked all the time what camera I use and how I go about recording my tutorials. So guys, this is part one of a three-part series. In this one, we're gonna talk about the camera that I use, all the lenses, and all of the camera accessories that I have. In part two, we're gonna to touch on how I go about recording a tutorial, where I place my camera, how I set it up, and different things like that. And in part three, we will go through the editing process. Of course, there's a lot that goes into that, but I'm gonna give you guys my basic breakdown on how I edit a tutorial, and hopefully that helps all you guys that have been asking all those questions. So anyway, I don't know when part two and part three will come out, but definitely stay tuned in the near future. I do have a lot of content recorded already, so probably a couple weeks in between, but guys, we'll do part one now, and look forward to those other two coming soon. All right guys, so most importantly, we're gonna start off with the camera itself. Guys, this is a Canon M50. That is an M50. I'm gonna link all of these products in the description below. So if you guys wanna check them out, head to the description, click it, it'll take you straight to Amazon. Guys, there's a lot of options for the M50. And when I say options, I mean kits you can buy it in. The M50 is gonna come as is, but there's different kits you can buy it in. I bought like a video influencer kit. It came with a little small tripod, some lens covers, some bags. Uh, just a bunch of accessories. So you guys, when you look on Amazon, you will see all kinds of different options. Guys, you can find this for as low as like 549 refurbished and then anywhere from 600 to about 900 depending on the accessories that you wanna buy with it. So the Canon M50 is a mirrorless camera. Basically, it's made for vlogging, guys. It does take decent pictures and obviously it takes full length video as well. But as you guys can see, it is pretty small and it's really aimed for vlogging. So I like it, guys, because I can take it with me. But honestly, when I vlog, I'm on my phone as you guys are looking at right now. But anyway, guys, the kit lens that comes on it, as you can see right here, is a 15 to 45 millimeter. For those of you who don't know much about cameras, and guys, I don't know a whole lot, so I'm not gonna get too technical, but really the smaller number is gonna be how far out you can zoom, and the larger number will be how far in you can zoom. So some lens don't zoom, they're just gonna be a standard number, like the 50 millimeter lens is a 50 millimeter, it doesn't zoom. Uh, that's what I previously recorded my tutorials with. This is a 15 to 45, so this is gonna be pretty standard. So the kit lens that it comes with, guys, honestly, I don't ever use. Like I said, if I'm vlogging, I use my camera. I'm gonna turn it on and show you guys kind of the difference in the zoom that you get with this lens. All right guys, so this is the 15 to 45. This is zoomed all the way out. I'm holding it full length out in my arm, you guys can see. And as I zoom in, we'll see how close it can get. So a little bit tighter. Uh, obviously you're not gonna film yourself like this, but uh, like I said, for vlogging guys, this would be perfect. Also, like I said, I use my phone. So I don't really use this lens at all, I'm gonna be honest, but it's gonna come with the camera no matter what. All right guys, so one important thing about the M50, not only for vlogging, but also for tutorials, guys, you do have the LCD screen. So I can flip that around and when my camera is where the phone is, I can see the screen on this side. So I'm able to adjust where it's looking. I can also adjust all of the settings like the ISO or the aperture, all the different settings that you have as you're filming. So that is one important thing if you guys are wanting to do YouTube that you do have the flip around screen. Of course guys, you can flip it and use it this way as well. Now guys, one important thing to mention is that this is a EFM mount system. So again, not to get too complicated, but that basically means what lenses will fit on the M50. So they are EF-M lenses. Now guys, most of the lenses that we use, like the 50 millimeter, those are EF lenses. So in order to make those lenses fit, you do need an adapter like this. Now guys, this is the Kama Light adapter. I'll link it in the description below. I think it was around 50 bucks. There is one that's a little bit better. This one does not have a glass inside of here. There's one called a Viltrox adapter that does have the glass inside. And basically guys, imagine we take this lens off, when we put this adapter on, it's gonna space the lens away from the camera. And so what the glass does in the other adapter actually offsets that distance. If you guys understand lenses, uh, as you pull lenses away, it's gonna change the magnification. So let's say for example, we put a 50 millimeter on here and I have the adapter with no glass, it's actually gonna zoom in further than 50 millimeters. So on my station, guys, it gets super tight on the head and uh, I actually prefer it that way. Now if you use the Viltrox adapter with the glass in it, it will actually offset that difference and you will get that true 50 millimeter. But anyway, guys, I still use the one without the glass. This is the cheaper one, like I said, is the Kamalite. So basically we're gonna pop this lens off, put the Kamalite adapter on, and then I'll show you guys my new lens. 
Now you guys can see we have the adapter on and now we'll throw the new lens on. All right guys, so this is my new lens. This is a big dog. I'm not gonna necessarily suggest that you go out and grab this lens. Like I said guys, before I was using the 50 millimeter. So if we go back to what we talked about, this is a 24 to 70 millimeter. So basically at 24, I'm gonna be able to zoom all the way out. I can see the full client in the chair. Really, I'm sitting on my chair right now. So really about as wide as you can see right here. And then I can tighten that in even tighter, 20 millimeters further than the 50. So guys, now I can pop in like to just the sideburn. Uh, and that's why I got this lens, guys. This lens is high. I'm gonna link it in the description below. But the Canon 24 to 70 is about 1,800 bucks. You can get a Sigma or a Tamron lens, and those are closer to 1,000 or 1,200 bucks. But anyway, guys, as you can see, we have the EF adapter. This is an EF lens, so we will just line up. Let me find the dot. We got a red dot right here. We have a red dot on the adapter. Line up the red dot. Click it into place. As you guys can see, we have an adapter at the bottom right here. That's because all of the weight right now is on the front of this lens, and that's gonna help stabilize it when we put it on the tripod. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this on and show you guys the zoom on this. All right, guys, so this is the 24 to 70, all the way zoomed out. Like I said, so before, guys, it was a little bit zoomed out further on the 15 to 45. Obviously, the 15 being more zoomed out than this lens, which is 24. And now you notice, guys, if I pop this into the zoom, we can get nice and tight. So this allows me to pop in and film a taper or something like that. And you guys can see this thing is super HD, super crispy. So now we're gonna talk about some accessories and guys, I just got a couple new things. I did used to have a wall mount for my camera. I recently added the Fat Gecko triple mount. Guys, basically it is suctioned on the mirror right now. That's what I'm talking to. My phone is in the mount and it's suction cupped on the mirror. Uh, let's just turn this on. I'll give you guys a little glimpse of what it looks like. All right guys, so that is the Fat Gecko. You guys can see my phone is up there recording. And the Fat Gecko mount is, obviously that is the three suction cup mount, guys. So with this big expensive lens, it is heavy. I wanted to have more uh, stability, I guess you would say. The two suction mount might work, but this is much safer than the two suction mount. On top of that, guys, I do have a new quick release system. If you guys just buy the Fat Gecko mount, you have to put your camera up and spin it onto the threads every time you want to use it. Now, I didn't think that was practical, especially with this big lens. A couple of the guys in here still use it like that, but I didn't really like the idea of screwing this on every time I wanted to use it. So if you guys look at the bottom, I do have a quick release mount. There's a base that's on the Fat Gecko. It is also on my tripod that I'm gonna grab in a minute. Matter of fact, let's grab it now. All right guys, so as you can see, here is the mount I was talking about. Let's see what the name is. U-L-A-N-Z-I, guys, these were 30 bucks a piece, so I went ahead and got two. I leave one base on the tripod, one base on the Fat Gecko, and if you guys look at the bottom of the camera, there is a piece. Boom, I can click it right in. So the phone is on a phone mount that is on another adapter, so I can take my phone mount, I can click it into my tripod, I can click it into the Fat Gecko, and as you guys see here, I can click my camera in, and if you look at the bottom right here, I can slide this over, and now it's locked. You wanna take it out, slide it left, squeeze them together, boom. So if you guys have a system like this, but you don't have that quick release, definitely check it out. It's a game changer. So, so basically guys, if I wanna film something on my tripod, I'll just set my tripod up, take my phone mount or my camera mount, snap it in, or I can snap it on my mirror as well. So when I do a tutorial, I just snap the camera on the mirror and we're good to go. So while we have the tripod out, guys, I'll go ahead and tell you about this. This is just a tripod off of Amazon. It's kind of got a weird name. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, but guys, basically these are common on Amazon. It's around 90 bucks. It is very sturdy. I bought a cheap one and it just wasn't really good enough. So hit the description if you guys need a tripod and I will link this thing down below. All right, guys, so we have a few more things to tell you about. One other one is a power adapter for the M50. I can't really show you guys because it's all tied up in my station and actually I'm not using it at the moment. I have two batteries. So every time I put my camera up, I put a new battery in it off the charger. But guys, basically it is a power adapter. There's a hole in the bottom of the battery pack on the M50 and you put a basically a dummy battery in there with a plug and you actually plug it into a wall outlet. So that will give you guys consistent battery life for the whole duration of a tutorial. And if any of you guys have ever filmed, you know how much of a problem it is running out of battery. So I did buy that, it's on my old mount. I haven't been using it. I think I'm gonna rewire it and hook it up over here so I can use it on the Fat Gecko. Last but not least guys, this is the Switch Pod. Guys, this is a vlogging tripod. If you guys look, I can put the mount right here and hook the camera here, 
Put the phone mount on top as well. And you guys see I can hold this out and it gives me a little extension for vlogging. Other than that guys, it is magnetic. It holds together, but we can flip it out and you guys see we have a nice tripod. So when I'm doing something in my office at home, I will set this up, put my camera on top, put my phone on top. It's very sturdy. This thing is very durable. Like I said, it's called the Switch Pod and it is about 130 bucks guys with this full DSLR mount on top. But guys, that allows you to turn and pivot the camera uh, and it's a little more heavy duty than the cheaper one. I think it's a hundred bucks and it's just gonna have the thread on top and that's it. But super convenient, you guys. Like I said, it is like an extra extension of the arm to do some vlogging and it helps out a bunch. Matter of fact, let's hook it up and try it out. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. If it was helpful, smash that like button. I just made a thumbs down, that's not good. Smash that like button, guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you gained any knowledge from this or if you think you're gonna cop any of this equipment that I was talking about. Guys, like I said, stay tuned for part two, recording a tutorial, and part three, editing a tutorial. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss that content. I appreciate all you guys watching all of my videos, and I'll catch you guys next time.